Hello everyone and welcome back to Beginner Guides with Chrome. So last time we did AgroProm. The next lab you will probably encounter is um, Lab X16, also known as the Miracle Machine. You get the mission to clear this lab from Professor Sakharov, which is right here. Uh, in order to do this lab, you will need a Psi Helmet. Professor Sakharov sells it for 30,000 rubles. And it looks something like this. He will instantly give it to you. So as soon as you have 30,000 rubles, you can actually buy it. I do suggest you first deal with your gear. And uh, don't, don't spend all that money uh, before you're actually ready to go into this lab. Now, the thing about this lab is it can be skipped. You don't really need to do this to move on to the northern parts of the zone. Uh, in order to do that, you would have to do the brain sculpture. But uh, there is still a ways to go until there. And dealing with the miracle machine actually helps you deal with the brain sculpture as well. The brain sculpture is a timed mission. So once you get in there, you will have... Uh, Normally, I think it's uh, six minutes, maybe, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, if you finish the Miracle Machine first, you will actually get bonus time in the Brain Scorcher, which is a pretty hard laboratory to do, and you have to do it in order to move to the northern parts of the zone and to progress the main mission. So, with all that said, let's talk Miracle Machine. So, in order to do this, you can do it with a shotgun. There will be quite a lot of mutants in there, and even a pseudo-giant at the end, which you don't necessarily have to kill. But, uh, I suggest you have really good Psy Resist for this. Uh, in order to get Psy Resist early on, uh, some medium armor uh, helmets will give some innate psi resistance. Uh, for example, the ACH-7 headgear set, which you can find off of mercenaries, for example, will give a base of 6%, and they can also be upgraded to increase your psi resist by a further 10%. Uh, other than that, some armors will give you Psy Resist. I don't have one right now, and you probably won't have access to one in the early game unless you're actually pretty lucky. I do suggest you take in a good shotgun, uh, or again, an assault rifle with uh, HP ammo. It can be done with less. I've even done it with just a USB match, but it uh, it's much harder and... Just like I said in the last episode, don't try it with lesser gear unless you hate yourself. <laughs> right, other things for Psy Resist. You can buy off Professor Sakharov, you can buy Psy Block, or at Prezine, at Perezine, sorry. Uh, I also highly suggest you get uh, something like a Hercules or uh, Epinephrine to clear the, the dizziness uh, that the Edprezin or the Psylock, Psyblock will give you. Uh, if you manage to cook some pseudo-dog chops, or even better, some Psy-sucker food, uh, that also gives a little bit of Psy resistance, and it would be amazing to have. Other things I have highly suggest you get before moving into here is maybe a couple of grenades, two or three. If you want to kill the pseudo-giant, I recommend keeping at least free, free grenades uh, to deal with it. You can kill it with the shotgun, but it does take a lot of bullets. Pseudo-giants are bullet sponges. Other things we can expect to deal with in this laboratory are snorks, zombies. Uh, you will 100% meet a couple of bloodsuckers. Um, at least one bure and one controller. But these uh, should mostly be easy to deal with. I will even show you a little trick I use to deal with the bloodsuckers more easily. Um, 
Another thing I would highly recommend to deal with the Bure is uh, grab a couple of anti-personnel mines. They are really helpful if you know where the Bure spawns because uh, it the spawn of the Bure is scripted once you turn on the last uh, button is when the Bure will spawn pretty close to you. He doesn't really have anything to throw at you, but he can steal your weapon and it can get a little bit annoying. Right. Uh, I actually also got a couple of mines in the meantime, just to show you how you can deal with the Bure. So I'm also gonna move in there on foot to show you what uh, you'll meet on the way there. The lab is right here. You won't be able to get past the gate unless you have the Psy Helmet. But we're still running Buckshot. Honestly, about 60, round of buck, 60 rounds of Buckshot should be enough to deal with pretty much anything that is... Um, well, we're taking a little bit of radiation here, so I'm just going to take a few meds to deal with that. This area is usually pretty clear, but once you get into the act in through the actual gate, it can get a little bit hectic. Now, the miracle machine has one thing: uh, mutants in the compound will spawn uh, psy ghosts, which will uh, drain your psy health unless you shoot them before they get there. Uh, one bullet should be enough for each ghost, but sometimes you don't get to to do it, so. And there's a ghost. Let's deal with this zombie just so. Okay, we can also hear whispering. And laughter. That's definitely a controller. Which um, is not fun. So, um, just just trying to build up the courage to go in there. <laughs> even even I, I, I've done this this uh, this miracle machine a lot of times, and even I am a little bit intimidated by it sometimes. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just go in there and see what happens. Also, if these guides help you. Oh, there he is. Controllers are pretty easy to deal with if you know what you're doing. You heard that noise there? That, that whooshing sound? When that happens, get behind cover or break line of sight with anything and it will stop. If he gets you with one of those, it takes like half a second, maybe a second. He will deal a lot of Psy damage and also uh, mess with your, your camera. But all you have to do is stick, stay a little further from it. If you get too close, uh, you will end up um, offing yourself. So keep your distance and make sure you always have something close to break line of sight. In this case, I engaged him just because I could go behind the fence, and he, if he decided to get in closer, I could have just went behind this uh, this um, container here, or behind that tree, so it would have all been good. Right, what was I saying? Um, yeah, if, if these guides uh, end up helping you, or if you enjoy the, the content, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, drop a comment with any suggestions or uh, any advice or changes you would make to, to this run of the Miracle Machine. Or any funny stories you have about it. I would love to, to hear them and I really love reading your comments every time.
Let's loot this. Oh, we actually got some uh, morphine, which I won't use, but uh, honestly, if you get it, I highly suggest you use it. Simply because 15% uh, damage resistance could be just the thing to, to help with the mutants down there. There is a stalker in there. So I think he cleared out the snorks. There are sometimes snorks around here on the outside. And they be they can be quite annoying. Sometimes beyond the fence and they just launch ghosts at you, which uh, is not fun. Right. Laboratory entrance is right here to this little hole. So before we go in there, I am definitely going to pop a Psy block. This will increase our Psy resistance for about two minutes, but it will also make us dizzy and hungry. And I will clear the dizziness with the Hercules. Right. You will also need a flashlight when you go down in here. Night vision doesn't always work. Um, as there are sometimes anomalies in there. But if you have the night vision, you are welcome to try it. And I will do so. Okay, here we are. We can already hear some crates being messed with. Oh, they bugged a little bit. And there's a zombie there as well. And we're already taking damage from the Psy Ghosts. Oh. Apparently he didn't die. Okay. The, the, psi, the Psy regeneration we get from the Psy block should be enough to deal with this, so... Okay, there's a snork in there, so let's just pop a grenade and hopefully that snork will be dealt with. You can also jump straight down and it should be okay. You can see how many snorks there are here just by the amount of, of Psy Ghosts we're getting. And there's one. There might also be a Bloodsucker. We're out of ammo, but we're switching to the rifle. Okay, there's another snork somewhere. Oh, there he is. Right. Oh, I may end up using the assault, assault rifle a little bit more. It's simply my personal preference. I don't really like shotguns that much. Alright, so there may be a bloodsucker coming from over there. So there he is. Oh, where the hell? Can back up in the bathroom. Okay. This is a good place to deal with that bloodsucker. Simply because you force it to come through the door. Alright, we'll do some meds. There's another zombie in there. Oh, I missed. Always double tap zombies. Always double tap zombies. Right. So this starting area should be safe. And we can start moving forward. Now, there is another way to do this, and I, I will show you right after. It's a tactic I actually used when I was doing the Invictus run. And sometimes it can uh, make it a little bit easier. Now, there's a snork to our left, and that kind of scares me. That's, that's one of my grievances with the shotgun. The, the ammo does end up uh, 
I mean, the low magazine size does end up, uh... Working against you sometimes. Right, there's always an, a snork in this area, so watch your back when you come in here. And the zombies back up. Sometimes they do bug and uh, stop moving, but if they come towards you and you need some space, you can just start running back towards the starting area. You can climb back up there, so that can be problematic sometimes. Right, let's reload all our weapons. The next thing we'll be fighting are a couple of bloodsuckers. They are always there, so um, always expect them to be there. And what we're going to do is run straight behind these two pipes. And if you stay right behind these pipes, they shouldn't be able to reach you. We can just pull him back out if we need to. There he is. Okay, we got him. So, I'm gonna say this was probably the hardest part of this run. We still have two grenades left. And at this point, I'm gonna use the assault rifle just because we have a bit longer range with it. There are still zombies out there and you can already hear a snork and the snorks will be coming at you slowly. There will probably be three or more snorks left. Three, four. Okay, so what you have to do in this particular laboratory is you have to pull these levers. There's uh, three or four of them, I don't remember. Let's just activate it. An alert will start. It is quite loud. Okay. Again, there's always zombies walking around, there can be snorks, so always make sure to check your corners, especially when you climb up these ladders. Is this one dead? Always double tap zombies. And here's the snork. Don't worry about that. There's There are anomalies around here, but they are right outside the walkway, so they should be pretty safe. Here's the next lever. And another snork coming. We got him. We keep moving up. Check behind, no snorks. There's a couple of zombies, I'm just gonna deal with them in close range and I'm actually gonna take my handgun out because handgun ammo is a bit cheaper. And at this point of the game you will probably still have ammo issues. There's the third lever. There's four of them in total. So let's pull this one. Damage! Damage! Right! And we can climb back up here. Now, there will definitely be a snork somewhere out here and... Uh, sometimes it does end up getting me. Right, it's gonna be right here behind this wall. Okay, now, if you manage to get a landmine, don't activate the switch yet, but instead, we go up here and we can place a landmine with the proximity trigger 
and that should deal with the Buhr, that's where it spawns, if I remember correctly. So, once we pull this, this level lever, an earthquake will start rumbling and it will really um, do a number on our balance, we'll end up being on the floor. And I will also switch to my rifle, just because it's more accurate. Right, the mine did explode, but the burr is not dead. It spawns with the zombie as well. Uh, right. So maybe the zombie walked into that uh, landmine instead of the Bureau, but something definitely exploded the mine. Let's check what's here. Oh, right. We definitely don't want to get hit by that. Okay, for the viewers, always wait until they put their hands down. Otherwise, when they have their hands up, it's actually a shield they project and they will deflect all bullets. But that was the Bureau. So, we've seen it spawned down here this time. We could plant a proximity mine here next time. Um, sometimes planting up there works. I'm not sure exactly if the spawn changed or if I was simply mistaken, but that was it. All right. So, we're pretty safe now. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat because we're a little hungry. And I will also um, fix up our right arm. But at this point, the Miracle Machine is stopped. But we're not out of the woods yet. What we'll be fighting next is a controller. And he will always be in the same place, which is right through that door. But that's good, because we can use the wall to our advantage. And if you have HP ammo, he goes down really fast. But we could have even taken him out with a pistol with no problems. Right. I'll turn the night vision off now and pull out the flashlight just because it will help us see, us see a little better. We can loot the controller. And there are also Psy Research documents here. I think the military asks for those. Um, I don't have the mission right now because for some reason the first mission they give you after Agriprom is uh, Lab X18, which is much, much harder. But anyway, take them, keep them, they weigh nothing, they'll just stick in your inventory until you need them. Right, so now we have to get out of here. And uh, I'm also gonna repair our helmet. We no longer need Psy Resist. But uh, rupture resistance is still needed and impact for the pseudo giant if we're gonna fight him. We still have two grenades, so I'm gonna try and take him out. But it doesn't always work out that way. So if we don't manage to take him out, we can just run. All right, so we'll jump down here. Make sure our weapons are fully loaded. And we jump down into the sewers here. Okay, so I did say there's another way to do this. And that is running past everything. Now this is kind of a high risk, high reward type of deal. But if you really need to clear the Miracle Machine and you're pretty low on ammo, I mean, we took 70 rounds clearing the last one, this may, may be the one for you. You still need Psy Resistance, but from here you can just jump down. And yeah, you will take some damage, but we'll just ignore it for now. And we're gonna keep moving forward. We have a Bloodsucker coming, but... We're just gonna ignore him. Right. We're gonna jump over these boxes here. Ignore everything. Run straight behind the pipes. 
over the boxes here. Keep running. Down. Down the stairs here as well. And once you make it here, you are mostly health safe. Now, you may still get some uh, some Psy Ghosts coming from the mutants you ignored, but uh, at least you don't have to spend so much ammo dealing with them. Now, of course, I only recommend this if uh, you're really, really low on ammo, but still have to do the the, the miracle machine or uh, I also did this in my Invictus run because um, honestly it, it it was pretty early in the run and it, it's again very high risk high reward I was willing to lose a life um, in order to to um, make it past this part easier. I didn't really have very good um, weapons. So yeah, it's up to you which technique you use, but this is how you get to the center of the miracle machine. Now for the rest, you're gonna have to do it just like we did it before. All right, here we are down in sewers. There's already a snort coming towards us and he's down. Okay, so we still have a mine and two grenades. Those will be helpful in deal dealing with the pseudo giant. As for the rest, we will meet some snorks. We will meet some uh, zombies with weapons. Always, when you see a dirt mound like this, be ready for a snork because they usually hide behind them. And there he was. Right, let's keep moving. Okay, in this tunnel, right behind the bend, to the left, there will be another snork. So if you move slowly, you can probably get it before it notices you. There he is, and he's down. Right, we keep moving forward, and here, if you have a scope weapon, through that grating over there, you should actually be able to see a couple of the zombies. Uh, make sure you don't shoot that red barrel, you may need it later. And there's the zombies I was talking about. Oh, that was uh, painful. They're usually very inaccurate, but sometimes they do get a couple of hits on you. Right, so if we didn't deal with those right now, they would have uh, been in our way when we met with the pseudo giant. There's two or three of them, so we might meet even more. Right, this is a good place to take a breather if you need it. Heal up, right. Uh, now, at this cross roads, you can't go forward, you gotta go left. Don't go through the middle of the road. This light is made by a burner anomaly and uh, if you go through the middle it will burn you. So try to keep left and you should be able to pass it. Dirt mound right here, that means we're gonna meet another snort. There we go. Okay, next crossroads, there may be another zombie, usually I do end up meeting one, and there he is. Just pop its head, and you're good to go. And always check the left, there may be other zombies. And behind this dirt mound, there will be two snorks, they are always there, so be ready to deal with them. They are quite annoying to fight, but we got pretty lucky this time. Right, oh, there's a lot of radiation in there. Okay, this is the last place you will have to actually take a breather. So, uh, don't move forward, stick here, clear any rats you might have or uh, any wounds that could stop you. 
because right behind those boxes is where the pseudo giant spawns so let's make sure everything is reloaded i'm sorry that was my phone right i'm even gonna do a little quick save here just because uh actually killing the pseudo giant is um a bit hit or miss and we're just gonna run straight forward and he'll spawn right there and i'm already gonna throw a couple of grenades there uh he does slow us down when we when he hits us and here as well i will plant a proximity mine and keep going he will come at us from around the corner hopefully the mine will get him and also the red barrel really helps and there we go the giant is down oh yeah a couple of grenades and a proximity mine you can also do this with just your weapon but it is an enclosed space and it's very risky also it takes a lot of bullets to take a pseudo giant down and from here on out i think we should be clear oh there's a med kit on the floor cool right uh, another tactic is keep pulling the pseudo giant toward you and shoot the red barrels uh, as he gets close to them and they will deal a lot of explosive damage right now this path that you see me take you can run on this path and avoid the pseudo giant altogether like just run straight to the stairs he shouldn't be able to catch you he's too slow if you keep on running if you run out of stamina you're pretty much dead but otherwise you can just run past the pseudo giant and all the way to the stairs ladder sorry and uh we are out in Yantar. This is a closed off spot, so uh, you get out of here, all you have to do is run out and uh, okay, it does require a little jump. And you can just jump out of here. Perfect. And we are out. At this point, um, Professor Sakharov will send us a message. And uh, if I remember correctly, we should be able to also turn in the mission to him and he will give us a little bit of a reward. So we ended up using um, all of our shotgun ammo. If you want to kill everything, uh, it will take... How much do we have? 80 rounds maybe? Right. Um, oh, actually, he doesn't give us anything. Oh, well, that's that's uh, kind of sad. But yeah, this was the Miracle Machine, the starter part where you have to deal with uh, the mutants and turn it off. There's also a secondary mission to deal with the miracle machine it is much more difficult after you finish it you can talk to professor sakharov once again or you can pick it up from the task board um and uh we can ask around and he does ask us to clear lab x16 or the brain lab or miracle machine um in order to get uh, ecologists in there now the lab will be repopulated with mutants and it will be much harder. You remember that big round area where we turned off all the levers all to, to turn off the machine? Well, last time I was there on this mission, a couple of controllers were in the open spot and they're very difficult to deal with. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll go do a test run and see how we do. I will change my gear though i would not jump into this mission with the gear we have on right now i would come back with probably a heavy armor and uh much more psi resist because if we have to fight two controllers at the same time it, it's not gonna be fun okay so 
let's deal with the secondary cleaning mission of the miracle machine we have it right here we just have to clear the mutants in there so just like before there will no longer be uh ghosts because the miracle machine is off but i would still prefer to do psi block before going in because there might be controllers in there uh in the end i decided not to um not to change my gear except the only thing I would recommend is uh, for your rifle, get a scope. Because uh, the problem I ended up dealing with every time were the controllers in the middle room, which are really hard to hit unless you have a scope to see them. Okay, let's jump in. And what the hell? That can happen sometimes. There was a snork right on the spawn spot. So be be ready for the game to fuck you over sometimes. Right, I, I can also hear fractures. Uh, the mutants are not always the same. Sometimes they do change, so... Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing fractures. Now, I've only done this two times before. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure what we'll find here. Okay, I'm just gonna deal with uh, the mutants down here from above. I can actually drop another level with no issues. Not sure if we got him. Okay. Archer is done. Now we can just and camp up here if we need to because there is no more psi ghosts to to be scared about right there's another snork there and he's down now be very careful because one of the runs i did before i had a controller spawn right there if that happens, rush behind these generators and you should be good to shoot it um, out of line of sight. Alright, let's see. These are the zombies we killed before. Check the usual corners. And it seems to be mostly clear here. But that's not a guarantee. So, again. Do take care. And we can already hear whispers. So there's definitely controllers out there. Although I can't see them right now. Gonna throw a little quick save here in case I die so I don't have to re record everything. <sighs> well, I don't see anything, but that doesn't mean they're not here. Somewhere on the left. Getting stuck in the middle here without any cover is very scary. We 
do hear whispers, but uh, I'm not sure exactly where from. I'm gonna try and get behind the middle part here. But I am guessing they're on the top floor. Now again, um, the spawns can differ. So you can never be 100% sure what you're gonna meet. But every time I've been here, there were controllers. And he's actually coming towards us. Oh! Not controllers, Karlks. That's, that's way better. Right, so we we got it easy this time. So with all that said, let's just get out of the lab once again. Yeah, so this time was a, a really easy one. But again, my previous one runs were all met with controllers. Okay, so we're back in Yantar, and we're just gonna turn the mission in to Professor Sakharov. Again, we were very lucky, this one we didn't meet anything too bad. And the job is done. 7,000 rubles and a sponge, which is um, kind of disappointing. But it is fun running a second time through the lab. And from what I read in the patch notes, but I never checked uh, when this, these missions were introduced, if we go again to the labs we cleared with the secondary mission, uh, we will start meeting ecologists in there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this was the Miracle Machine. I uh, hope this guide helped. It helps you. This has been Chromanim. And as always, I will see you all next time.